Hey everyone, I'm Hannah from the Earth Lover Love and I'm a nature enthusiast. In my channel, I share the simple ways in our daily life to enjoy and embrace the earth, the beautiful nature, and to learn about the sustainability. If you want to know more about this topic or just simply love the earth and nature, don't forget to subscribe. Hey guys, we're back again with another exciting episode of Earth Lover Lab. This time, we left Illinois, where the lab members currently live, and took a road trip to South Dakota, Colorado, and Utah to observe nature and wildlife while traveling to world-famous national parks in each area. Leaving the daily life behind, with the city and its many buildings, we headed out west to a land full of Mother Nature's beauty, the land where the sky meets the earth. On the way there, the sky, which used to look so small in our city, is so big that it fills the canvas as if it were the picture. The light of the sky, the changing color of the clouds, the smell of the wind, the sound of the various lights seem to awaken in every single cell in our bodies. Finally, after 20 hours of driving from Chicago, we arrived at our first destination, the Badlands National Park. Badlands National Park, South Dakota. And we just stopped by at this uh, um, Buffalo Gap National Grassland just because we wanted to see that prairie dog over there. Batlands National Park is home to many prairie dogs. The species here is called the black-tailed prairie dog and it is also the most well-known species in the U.S. They're talking. Oh, oh, danger, danger. Scientists over at Northern Arizona University have been studying prairie dog language over the past 30 years. Their results show that the prairie dogs seem to have complex sentences and engage in social chatter. With their calls, they can distinguish predators and even discuss their type, their size, and their colors. They're terrified. I feel bad. Let's go back. Danger, 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 danger. Prairie dogs are keystone species. A keystone species is one that many other species, both plant and animal, depend upon for survival. So they are very important to their ecosystem. That's why if they are removed, the ecosystem can be damaged. They play a very big role by getting eaten, making homes for other animals, clipping vegetation, and much more. That's sad they even gotta put that sign there. I know. Who would shoot one? Yeah, 
An essential part of nature observation is to look at your surroundings from various angles. Not only large creatures, but very small ones can be surprisingly close to you. Now what's this, this that we found in the field? Here's a hint. It's an insect that feeds on somebody's lost and founds. I saw this big piece of poo and I was like, what's that? And I was staring at it for a second. And then one of the pieces of poo started to walk away. That's right. It's a freaking dung beetle. I didn't even know we had dung beetles. Wow, South Dakota dung beetle. That shit is awesome, man. Dung beetles play such an important role in the breakdown process of animal waste. They work hard to rapidly remove the dung from the surface and bury it underground to feed their young. By doing this, they help to increase organic matter content in the soil and overall soil richness. Then these nutrients become available to plants and support the overall ecosystem. Hot commodity. Oh, he landed. Hot, He's on the hot poop. commodity. Wow. This is magical. Magical. Hot commodity. You can do it. You can do it. You can. You see how he's walking backwards and pushing yes, with yes. his back legs? Yes. He's so strong, so smart. Wow. Oh. You can do it. You got it, though. Good job. Good. Good. Home is. I am so glad I stopped, stopped to look at that poop. <laughs> wow, he's so fast. Here's an example of the modern day cattlemen herding their cattle. wonderful to see a sunrise you will remember for the rest of your life? We've seen one, the sun rising from the endless horizon, turning the earth bright red. To see this sight, first of all, oh well, you have to wake up early. Good morning. Badland National Parks are full of surprises and excitement. No matter where you go, wildlife will always pop up to say hello. This park has over 200,000 acres of sharply eroded peaks, pinnacles, and the largest protected mixed grassland prairie in the United States.
The park's steep terrain has been brutally ravaged by wind and water, resulting in a picture-perfect landscape of strange and colorful peaks, massive cliffs, and deep canyons. Erosion of the Badlands has produced many different colors of sedimentary layers, including purple, yellow, brown, and gray, red, orange, and white, which can be seen throughout the park. We headed to Custa State Park, about two hours drive west of Badlands National Park. Although it was a state park, it was a very large and comparable in size to many national parks. Hello. How are you? Oh, you're so pretty. Hey. Hey. Oh, you, oh, you don't like whatever I'm holding. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, yeah. he's like, oh, I don't like you. Oof. I don't hmm. want to. We're walking away from this. Oh. Hey. There are plenty of opportunities to see wildlife there, including coyotes, elk, mule deer, pronghorn, and bighorn sheep. And guess what? We came across a herd of majestic American bison. It was such a breathtaking moment that we felt like we had somehow become a part of the bison herd. The sound of their heavy breathing and the cloud of dust created by their hooves. It's impossible to put the experience into words. It's something that you have to go out and see for yourself. Even though these creatures may seem friendly at times, remember, these are still wild animals. So stay safe and always view from a friendly distance and make sure to follow your local guidelines. Every time we go on one of these journeys to observe nature, it reminds us that we are part of the larger world. We hope this video helps to reconnect the viewers to this world. Prairie dogs, dung beetles, and bison all play their parts in their daily lives, which are very much connected to each other, just like a circle. It is harmonious and not wasteful at all. It is up to us to do our part to protect and maintain the environment. We hope that you can find inspiration from these creatures and learn to coexist just like the prairie dogs, the bisons, and the dung beetles. Learn to communicate like the prairie dogs. Form strong bonds just like the large herds of bisons and always keep pushing towards a better future just like the dung beetles.
Well, that's it for this journey. Next, we are off to Arches National Park in Utah. We hope you all join us again next time. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching, watching everyone. everyone.